Yeah, what's going on my people? Welcome back to the Live Capital YouTube channel where life is for the taking. It's the host himself. Ted Talk Money coming back at you to tell y'all something. This time, this one is hilarious. If you're new to our channel, we've been really wanting you guys to know a little bit more about cold storage, really where you can store your cryptocurrency. Today, guys, I want to talk with you guys about a recent um, controversy that really happened coming out from Ledger. So they have a new feature that uh, you could say sparks some controversy amongst the crypto community. Guys, throughout this whole thing, I want you guys to really have a better understanding about cold storage, but this is something here. So of course, if you guys aren't familiar, Ledger is like the household name really for crypto storage and cold storage. If you're not exactly familiar with what cold storage is, I'll explain that to you a little later, but I want you to get this news here. So a recent service offered by Ledger has sparked controversy amongst the community. This service, allows users to recover their lost or forgotten recovery phrases. And that's obviously essential for a uh, recovery of your assets. So long story short, if you aren't familiar with what this device is, um, if you guys don't know, uh, your, your, your keys is really what accesses your wallet. So this, this is cold storage. Basically it allows you to store all of your keys and everything offline. So what Ledger is kind of doing is basically saying, we'll help you recover said lost or forgotten phrase, but they're involving a third party regulator. So you can see here, Ledger claims that the service is safe and secure, that the recovery phrase is held in an encrypted form and it's split up for storage by multiple parties. Uh, Ledger intends to help users who have no other way to access their funds. So guys, you know, the thing is, this isn't the first time that Ledger's kind of like been involving third party, uh, third party uh, providers to their services. Uh, you can see here some people are really un arguing, saying that this really undermines the core principles of self custody and decentralization. And it is a fact, guys. That's the point of the reason why you really want to get cold storage is because it's all about self custody. I mean, if you've been keeping all of your crypto on the exchanges, this is really where we recommend getting yourself cold storage, but not really sure if you want to get involved with this you can see here ledger facing backlash from the controversial backup tool as the crypto community is you know, a little discontented backup tool sparks outrage in crypto circles cz says it so the seed can leave the device now sounds like a different direction than your keys never leave the device you guys see that so ledger recover coming out here talking about will allow you to back up your C phrase through a transmission of fragments to third party firms, guys, this like that he, CZ is really bringing up a good point because the reason why you really want to get cold storage is because again, you're keeping your keys offline. You might've been, you know, if you're new to crypto, you might've downloaded a wallet on your phone. That is a hot wallet. That wallet again is really used for convenience, not uh, storing, not self custody. I mean, you could have self custody, but again, it's hot wallets are really used for convenience. So you can see here to learn a little bit, Ledger Recover encrypts a version of your private key and splits it into three fragments. All of this happens on the secure chip. So your recovery phrase is not at risk. Guys, just the point is like, really? You don't want these kinds of services really coming from your self custody wallet. Here's the thing you guys have to understand when you keep all of your crypto on, for example, these uh, cold storage, cold storage wallets. Again, that's the point. You're putting all of your coins in the vault. OK, it's in the vault. Now you can see here uh, seed phrase systems have some obvious experience issues. If a person loses the phrase, they have no options for recovering their funds. And just as the phrase can be used to recover a wallet, it could be used to crack a wallet if it falls into the wrong hands. 
guys yowza so of course what we'd have to say to you right now uh decent is doing a very good deal you guys can you can get 20 percent off of our already discounted price here there's a link in our description right now decent is doing this up until the 21st seriously guys private keys are private this is basically decent's way of letting you guys know you want to get yourself actual cold storage see the thing with decent is that you're getting biometric security on top of real self custody if you notice this device right here you're not really getting any kind of biometric security uh, at all so with that being said you have 129 here if we actually do the math on this yeah, if we did the math on this we were to take let's just say 129 and you were to take off an extra 20 percent yeah 25 bucks you're looking at 100 flat now here's the best part if you're actually a part of our u.s listeners you guys can see it right here um while our U.S. listeners right now are getting free shipping for all of their orders here, but I really want to walk you with you guys through this. Here's the best part. One of the big selling points really for Decent is the fact that you can store XDC uh, up self custody with decent okay keep that in mind guys you know it's interesting with these third party this isn't the first time ledger's done it for example if you really want to store xdc on ledger you're gonna have to go through a my crypto wallet which again is a third party provider and that's not self custody you get what i'm saying so yeah guys take advantage of the link in our description also you guys are going to be um once you once you actually get your a decent biometric wallet saving already saving money free shipping you're also going to be getting a, a airdrop for hava hava tokens as well that's going to be going on till the 25th but i want to show you guys if you're really a part of the iso 2022 message if you're really with utility cryptos you can see that xdc can be stored here also xrp and as well xlm guys of course there's a lot of different other um utility cryptos that you could store here h bar energy web token i don't think dags on here but guys it's so many obviously of course you could store every xrpl uh project that you might find you could store that right there on your decent so to really go over this again guys <laughs> no not financial advice but of course we definitely you know you want to get yourself cold storage seriously if you're holding all your crypto on the exchanges okay or on your phone you really want to make that adult step to really get into cold storage but i appreciate you guys really making it to this part of the video hit the like button subscribe to the channel and as well hit the bell so you don't miss out on any more of our updates but i'll haul you later peace